Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And of course, as we continue looking at settings, one of the settings that a lot of people have been asking me, how does it work, is how to set a data cap or a limit on the amount of data that you use on your PC. A lot of people have limited internet that actually has a data cap, a maximum of uh, data that you can actually use every month. And when you go overboard, well, it costs a lot of money. So how do you set this data cap in the settings? Simply go into your settings app, either by the bottom right and all settings or go to start menu and click the settings gear. Here you will go into network and internet and you will see in your status page one place that says data usage just below your connection. You already see on your connection how much data you've been using on your computer uh, with the connection. So here it says that I've been using 135.33 gigabytes in 30 days. So click data usage. Here in the data usage, you will have your connection. You will have what apps are using the most data on your computer. And you will, of course, have a data limit. And it says enter limit. When you click here, you can actually set a limit monthly, a one time limit or just you know click unlimited so monthly is what most people have so what you'll do is choose monthly you'll choose what date you reset so for example in my case if i would be at a limit um, i know that my isp resets on the 27th of the month so of course that is important in order to have your uh, reset of that limit every month then you choose how much you want. So for example, if you have a 60 gigabyte limit, uh, you will enter, you can enter 60 and choose gigabyte. But here's one thing. When you set a limit, and I actually have a limit on one device that I use, which is my smartphone, you don't necessarily want to be at that limit um, tight. You might want to set it just uh, below to make sure because one of the biggest problems is the way that ISPs calculate how much data you've used versus what your computer will tell you. There's always a small difference. So you might want to set, if you have 60 gigabyte limit, you might want to set that limit, say, at you know 55. And if you need more and if you're far away, then you'll be able to adjust that as time goes by and find the proper limit to add here. Of course, you can also set a one-time limit. If, for example, it's just because you're using data from somebody else temporarily, uh, that could be a one-time limit. And of course, you've got the unlimited, which means there's just no uh, set limit to any of that information. What happens? Well, when you actually get to your limit, you'll be warned that you're getting close and uh, basically that will tell you that you're getting really, really close to that limit. It doesn't stop the data. So basically it is just a warning that you are reaching or getting close to that data limit. So on my smartphone, for example, it tells me, okay, I'm close to the limit, you know? So that's the way that it works and it can help you manage uh, that limit and manage how much data you're using. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.